Hi there, good morning, I hope you're doing well. In case you missed it, last time we did a huge decluttering session and this is what we need to pack. Yeah. I don't wanna leave it here for much longer because it's gonna get creased. This is the to-go pile so far that we did in last vlog. Let's get packing this. After spending years moving from one place to another, I really ended up settling in this flat. Neither one of us saw it as a home, but COVID happened and moving just became difficult. I also got pretty used to being in one space, so moving wasn't really something that we wanted to do. Since it's been a while, this wasn't a very organised process. You can see me go backwards and forwards and I have no clue exactly what I'm doing and how I'm planning to pack. All of the clothes we're going to be transporting ourselves in a tiny little car, so that's why you can see me just using fabric boxes. These are just the boxes that fit into IKEA Kallaxes. If you have one, you know what I mean. I've got quite a few of them, they're really handy. It's a very low key move, as you'll see. We don't have many plastic boxes. We've only got two suitcases and just whatever cardboard boxes we could find up the loft. We're making do, we're using plastic bags, we're using fabric boxes, we're using whatever we've got. At the end of the day, if it works, it works. We have somewhat decluttered and this is the current situation. So I think we should get on with packing it. I've got this big box, I just need to take the bottom. It's not mine, I don't really drink. But it's quite a nice size, so I think this will work. You know, this packing tape was actually really quite expensive. I'm gonna start with the biggest first. Oh, maybe not. The pasta one doesn't fit. Oh no, a couple of them don't fit. These ones will have to go in the side. Honestly, I'm not sure about these. This is just my old pencil set, which I feel like I might start taking outside with me when I draw outside. I was gonna do something with this. I was gonna stick it into a page, but I'm not sure. I've gone through a lot of this recently, so I think I'm just gonna pop them down. I think I've kind of gone through it. Now that I have other soft pastels, I think I am gonna charity shop these ones. They are just basic ones I got from Wilco's. So these will be going. I also have a load of like color and pencils like these, which I'm not really sure about. Okay, I think that might be the first box done. I don't really know about the rest. We've got the gouache palette, which is quite big. Ooh. This one does fit, okay, I think we'll use the big one. Not really heavy, but I got a load of canvases. I just want to kind of stretch it a little bit because it's so diagonal. I remembered these, uh, yeah. And I also remembered the scroll box which I might just keep in its box, to be honest. Well, that fits just about. Honestly, it kind of looks like there's more boxed up than it did when it was on the shelf. <laughs> oh no. All right, this one I totally forgot about. This is gonna have to go separate. I have these little plant pots that I was thinking of using somehow. To be honest, I was kind of thinking of using them as like water pots. Was this successful? Honestly, I don't know. It looks like there's more. The shelves are completely full and there's that. So there is more. I mean, I didn't pack it the best, but I kind of thought it would all fit on the shelf. I guess I added like the canvases and stuff, which wasn't on the shelf to begin with, but I'll see you soon for the next project. Today, I'm testing my artistic abilities and polyfilling. In all seriousness though, I think it helps. We'll see. I can't remember how much to do. What is it? And I need something to mix it. I think I have like an old toothbrush that might work. Okay, let's give this a go. 
problem we have is that the corner here just cracks like anything so i need to try and fix it this is actually polyfiller because the entire wall kind of cracked into i don't know i need to somehow make it look better Tired. I think it's slightly better. The wall just kind of fell apart. So it's a little bit more flat now. I tried my best. I mean, it's a really difficult angle to get to. Good practice for the new house, I guess. Controversial opinion incoming. I'm at the Christmas section. Honestly, as somebody that's moving into a house that doesn't have a loft, a garage, any kind of cupboards, I don't see the point in keeping loads of Christmas decorations that are only gonna be used for three weeks a year. I don't have much. There's the tree and some baubles, a load of tinsel, and there's like random decorations, plus these baubles. Honestly, it just feels like a little bit of a waste of space to keep loads of decorations that are only used for a few weeks. The tree's gonna look pretty bare but I'm thinking of getting rid of the cheap baubles, the kind of filler baubles, and just keeping the nicer baubles like all of these. So we're not gonna have many. There's a few more than this. Little decorations like this just kind of use up space. So I don't know if that's worth keeping. Obviously I have to keep the elf on a shelf. I picked up something kind of cool from the shops. I got this small tester paint. It's in Magnolia, which is the classic rent color. Like, I think that'll be fine. That's, that's pretty spot on, isn't it? I'm the kind of artist that when I paint, I like to create splatters everywhere. And as a result, this is what the wall is looking like. We've got paint splatters literally everywhere. It's watercolour, so if we give it a clean, we might be able to get some of it off, but otherwise we're gonna have to paint over it. I'm thinking we're just gonna paint. I don't know about you, but I think that's a lot better. Magnolia was definitely the right color. It's the same color for every rental. Yeah, this side's much better as well. It's time, we're gonna go pick up the keys, ah! This is the house. I'm struggling to fit the entire room in, but this is basically it. As you can see, there's not much floor space. Sorry, I've got the windows open because it's a bit damp. But there's not much floor space, but hopefully we're gonna be able to put a desk somewhere here. And then maybe a second desk there or some storage. We've got a really tiny spiral staircase. This is the kitchen, it's pretty small, but hopefully we can get some more cabinets up here maybe. Kinda goes around there. At the moment, nothing is switched on. We haven't got water, we haven't got electric, we haven't got gas, we haven't got anything. There's not many cupboards, there's literally three. But I mean, the oven's quite nice. The staircase is pretty small, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to get used to it. Then we've got the bedroom. The bedroom has this weird kind of upstairs loft conversion nook, which is quite cute. I can't fit the entire room in, but we've got some lovely beams that really need to be restored. And this is what the bedroom's looking like. And this is the bathroom. It's not really much to see, it's a bathroom. Honestly, there's not much to show you, but this is everything. It's a cute little hundred year old cottage. It needs a bit of work done. We need to check everything's okay, but I can't wait to get decorating, honestly. This wallpaper, I think that's gotta go. I would love to do like some kind of mural on one of the walls in the bedroom. And I'd love to do a mural here or something. Don't know. Very high ceilings as well, because this is where the loft was. And this wall in the living room, I think this one, it doesn't look too bad. Although we were thinking about keeping this wall and then knocking down this wall. 
which is a possibility for the future. But I would love to put a mural on here as well. I want to paint some cute things and I want the house to be very bright, white, but also have really bright colours. It would be such a happy place. I was thinking something like painting on checkerboard. Maybe that could work, I don't know. It's very cold, there's a lot to do in the meanwhile. But this is everything. We've got a lot of people coming to the house to do work, but hopefully we'll be able to move in in a few weeks time. Next time in the moving series, we're gonna be working on renovating this 100 year old cottage. Then we'll be moving in and creating my very first art studio. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. I cannot wait to show you. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.